20 countries are working together. And that means that you get the best of 20 countries compounded into a facility and you also give back to these 20 countries the best they can produce. The X-rays of any synchrotron in the world are useful to, to many different disciplines of science. Of course, fundamental blue sky research in physics and chemistry in biology, but also many more applied or industry or innovation related uh, researches in, uh, in material science or in uh, biology, drug research. So all is here and, and the, the range is really uh, widening year by year. We are 100% dedicated to outside users who come here and we help them to make the best out of their experimental proposals to turn it into successful publications and once in a while also in good patents. Working in a large scale facility, it's just like, I think that is amazing. Not only because you can do pretty much all the science that you want, just like physically in one place. Also because you are surrounded by a lot of scientists and everything, they can click you new ideas, so they can help you to optimize uh, your uh, experiment. It's a really uh, exciting place because this is the place where you, you get your uh, scientific results that uh, afterwards you will spend uh, several weeks or even months in our lab to uh, try to explain uh, the, the data we, we collected here. ESRF is a 6 GV uh, machine, which is 844 meter circumference. I think radiation is something which is all, I think, quite old. Uh, when an electro uh, particle is uh, deviated from its trajectory, it uh, generates uh, radiation tangential to the trajectory. And this is exactly what occurred in a circular accelerator where you have bending magnet which makes the electron uh, making a, a, cir a circle and each time your electron is deviated you produce radiation. The circle is divided in fact it's in 32 sections where you have bending magnet to make the electron circulating and between this magnetic magnet you have this, uh, these ondulators which produce specific radiation for the beamline. The idea of a European light source goes back nearly four decades because in 1975 people started already to think about the European light source and uh, the green light and the money came uh, only 13 years later in 1988 but because such a lot of groundwork had been done uh, the first x-rays were produced here in Grenoble at the ESRF in 1992. In fact, the average was divided in two parts. The phase one was to improve the capacity, the reliability of the storage ring. And the second phase, at least for the accelerator part, is to really reduce the horizontal beam size in order to gain a factor 30 on the beam size and to increase the brilliance and coherence of the source that we, it will open new field of science. The key word for our upgrade, actually both phases, phase one and phase two, is nanoscience. The nanoscale is of course the scale where all semiconductors today are being are working and developed. We talk about 20 nanometer or 40 nanometer structures. But when the ESRF will be through the second phase of the upgrade, it will be like an X-ray machine, but working on the scale of electron microscope, being able to look inside, deep inside an object. At the same time, it will be chemically sensitive. So rather than just seeing structure, it will see actually also different chemical elements and it will see the chemistry at the nanoscale happening in objects.